Okay, welcome to a drawing class with Jim Freehart. I hope this is working. I just recorded this whole <laughs> drawing for you and it wasn't turned on right. Anyway, this is the little sketch I just did for the, today's lesson, but here, we're, here it is. That's what we're going to end up doing, something just about like that. I'll make a couple of changes. So I'm going to take off this old drawing, the, the one that was completed like five minutes ago, and uh, start off with a nice clean piece of paper. As usual, I just use plain printer paper and a super nice solid graphite drawing pencil. This one is a 6B pencil, and it means it's a soft lead. It's going to draw really dark if I push hard, and it's really smudgeable. So um, before anything, if you already know my lessons, please click on the uh, notifications button and the like button if you enjoy my videos. and. Um, please do subscribe. I'd love to get more people subscribing if I can. So uh, without any more waiting here, let's go ahead. Um, in the end of this, I'm going to show you where I am. I'm in Hawaii and I'll show you the view out the window here of the palm trees and banana plants and everything else. And I've got a few little ants crawling on this every so often. <laughs> so we'll see what wants to happen. So here we go. I'm going to check and make sure this is going. All right, it is. I'll get straight on to this now. Here we go. Here's our lesson for today. It's a little Christmas fun drawing lesson, and it will be a couple of penguins skiing down a mountainside on candy canes. So I'm going to start off with the candy canes, and there's a really cool way to do it. First, I'm just making one nice curve and then the candy canes going up the slope and another nice curve and that line going up the slope like that. So here we go. We're going to start off to make it three dimensional. I'm going to have the, I'll see the end of it as a little oval like that. Then I'm going to make a second line that parallels that runs right alongside the first one, just about the same thickness all the way along if I can. So that's going to go along like that. This will come along and curve and run along like that. Same thing's going to happen over here. We'll have one like that going along. And the other one will kind of disappear behind this candy cane here a little bit. So there we go. That's the start. Now to make these three dimensional, this is so cool. Watch what happens. If I make curved lines and I'm putting them about the same distance apart from each other from the next one. Curve and a curve and another curve like that and another curve. See, I made a little mistake here, so no problem. I'm just going to go along and make my new line there like that. This line is going to get wiped out. All right, that's pretty good. So I'm going to make this one of my dark lines of the candy cane stripes and it's super dark at the bottom and it gets a little lighter lighter and then it gets dark at the other side now look how how three-dimensional that makes that candy cane look it's also got a little shadow even though this is the white part it's a little bit shadow there a little shadow here and a little shadow there and the next one dark getting lighter and getting darker at the bottom underneath there kind of there we go that makes it kind of 3D looking. So here goes the last one, sort of dark along here, a little lighter in the center, and dark over here. There's a little ant. Okay, I'm gonna blow it away. There we go. So that's about it. Just wanting to come back. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Curve line, another couple of suggestions of the curves now here i decided i don't want the i don't want the candy cane lines to all line up so watch this will be dark this will be dark i'll make this dark one in here make another dark one in here and there that's about it now 
little bit of outlining goes a long way. Watch what happens when I kind of go along and darken these lines. So one thing I want to mention, this is not my first time doing this drawing. I've done it a bunch of different times in schools and things. And I still keep learning, but since this is probably your first time doing it, don't worry about it if it doesn't come out like mine, which it probably won't. It'll be its own special drawing. And that's kind of the magical part of art, right? We're all different and each of our drawings come out different than one another. So there we go. That's it. Oh, and then I'm going to just run right along the edge with my finger to smudge that right along the bottom edge, back and forth. Same thing here along the top edge. And there we go. There we have it. I'll make this dark here too. Okay. We got the candy cane going down the hill. Now we're going to put a penguin. If we had it standing up straight up, it won't look like it's zooming along going fast. So um, I'm going to make sure that I have my penguin leaning forward. So I'm going to put its little head way out here forward, kind of a head like that. It's going to have its body coming along and the tail streaming back like that. That's kind of the shape. Then I'm going to put a hat on it. So there's going to be a, a little white hat like that. And it'll be blowing back in the, in the wind like that. That'll make it look like it's going fast. Okay. Um, I could even make this candy cane stripe. A couple little stripes on it. There we go. Now, the penguins eye. I'm going to make it kind of big. It makes it look a little more cute with some eyelashes. And I'm going to leave a white spot on the eye and the rest of it is going to be about the darkest part of my whole drawing. <laughs> makes, makes it look like a shiny dark eyeball. Then its beak, I'm going to make like, like a, a triangle kind of. Except at this end, we're going to put we're going to make it almost the shape of a little diamond, a long diamond, sort of. So that's its beak. Here's its little face. Here's the dark part of the penguin. It kind of goes like this. It comes along, and then it goes back toward the tail. So this is going to be the dark side of the penguin. This is going to be its tummy, the light side, like that. Okay? And to make it really look like it's going fast, I'm gonna have its wings just flying back behind it like that. And the other wing, just the end of it sticking out like that. And I'm gonna make the penguin's wing dark on top and I'll leave it kind of light on the bottom. Dark on the top and lighter on the bottom. Then, now by the way, you just stop this anytime you need to. I'm going to go fast because the videos always end up longer than most people want to watch them. <laughs> so, so I'm going to keep going here. So this is darkening, shadowing in, shading in the body of the penguin. Go on. And see, after my pencil gets worn in a little bit, and it's not so sharp, I can do this super nice blending like that with this pencil. And also this is, happens to be really good pretty good paper. It's really smooth. Let's me do more blending. So watch what I'm going to do. Just like I did on the candy canes with super dark getting medium dark and then super dark again to make it look three-dimensional. I'm going to do the same with the penguin's body here. First of all, I'm going to put a shadow under its little wing like that, a little extra dark there. And then I'm just going to make this pretty dark along the bottom and kind of outline it where it's super dark again. And that's just to make it look a little more three-dimensional. Just by outlining it like that. See how it kind of makes it more 3D looking? Okay. Um, feet. Penguins have big feet with 
claws on them to hold on to the slippery ice and snow or to dig in the dry ground when they're digging a burrow. So there's its little, little feet. Pretty easy to do because I'm not even trying to count the toes or anything. I'm just making these stumpy little feet sticking out there. Okay, that is almost done. One more thing, a little shadow under its chin and darken the edge of the white part of this. And I'm gonna take my finger and go back and forth right on the edge and look how it makes it 3D looking. Not sure if you can see that there. Well, here we go, I forgot this one last little thing. And this little ant, I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't seem to wanna to go away. I was eating coconut and maybe it's looking for some coconut. I do live in Hawaii most of the year and I just opened a couple of coconuts for a snack. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's almost done enough. Oh, again, dark, medium dark, super dark on the edge dark, lighter, and super dark on the edge. I'm gonna put a shadow under this ball at the end of, at the end of the uh, hat. I'm gonna make the white part a little wider here. Make the red part a little wider. There we go. That's pretty cool. And that's it for the, the adult penguin. Um, Oh yeah, a little more dark, a little contrast, a little more dark on the flipper there. And then, I'm gonna make that a little longer. See, I make mistakes too, and I can just kind of go over them and fix them, just like you can. And sometimes things look even better when we think we're making this mistake. It's just we we're, we're, get a chance to try and make something different than we thought we were gonna do. Oh, a few speed lines, watch this. These lines that are light getting, they're kind of light and then they get lighter and lighter as they go back from the object. In this case, from the wings and from the hat. See these little speed lines? I didn't know what they were called, but some, one of my students told me that in school. Speed lines, there we go. All right, there we have the first part almost done. I'm going to put a little chubby penguin in here and I'm gonna make everything kind of fat on it. Babies tend to have a little bit more chubbiness to them. At least they're more, they're, they're not so long and skinny as us bigger people or bigger children. So watch, here's its little hat, just like on the adult, little white hat and even the hat. I'll make it a chubby little hat and a ball hanging off here. Extra dark on the bottom, a couple little stripes on it. There we go. The penguin has, just like the adult, a couple of eyelashes sticking out there and just the edge of the eye that you can see there. And the other eye, I'll make it pretty big on a baby penguin, the bigger the eye, and the bigger you make the eyelashes, the more cute it looks. And here's its beak. What kind of beak? Chubby. There it is, chubby little beak. And you guessed it, wing, a chubby little wing. And here's its little dark line, just like the, the mom has, or the dad, whoever that is. There it is, dark, 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 dark in there, dark in here, dark on top of the wing, and a little shadow under its chin, a little shadow under its tummy, and a couple little feet it's holding on, and the speed lines. There it is, that's our little drawing for today, but let's just do one quick little bit of background here is a big huge mountain in the background 
and another one going up even higher here. So uh, I'm making just a few little, sort of like I did with the candy cane, dark along the edges, lighter in the middle. And a few little trees, watch how I can make these trees with a smudgy pencil that's already not too sharp. I'm just making some short little curved lines that get shorter and shorter. There's one little tree. Here's another one. These little curved lines get they're wide here. They get narrower and narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's all you have to do to make some little trees. Then there's some little tiny trees, little stubby little ones, some other ones that are taller. Over here, we got a few more trees. And if this is a really far away mountain, this one, if this one comes in front of it, then these could be tiny little trees up on the mountain. Just tiny, tiny little trees. Even just little lines like that. See, I'm just trying to figure it out myself. I haven't really done it this way before. I'm just trying to see if, it, if they do look like little trees. All right, these little lines that come down the mountain like this kind of makes it look a little more three-dimensional. Well, there we go. I think we have our drawing for the day. The two penguins on their bobsled their candy cane sled. All right, sign your drawing and um, I'm gonna sign my name, Jim. My last name is Free Heart with a little star that means celebrate the gift of life. I've been signing my drawings and paintings with that little star for about 40 years. And I still have fun doing my drawings. I still get goosebumps. I love doing it. I love to teach. And I'm so glad to be able to spend a little time with you today. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click on the like button and subscribe. Enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye.